Now we arrive at the second person we pay homage to this, uh, this uh, very good uh, graphic artist. He himself became a sir, uh, but uh, with the first name I would hesitate to pronounce. Muir had, Muir had bone. Uh, so you see, sir, Muir, but Muir had the bone, was born on the 23rd of March, 1876, was a Scottish etcher and watercolorist who became known for his depiction of industrial and architectural subjects and his work as a war artist in both the First and Second World Wars. Bone was an active member of both the British War Memorials Committee in the First World War and the War Artists Advisory Committee in the Second World War. It seems human beings cannot do without wars. Very, very sad. He promoted the work of many young artists and served as a trustee of the Tate Gallery, the National Gallery, and the Imperial War Museum. So now you see a picture of him in the First World War. He was, uh, you know, a lieutenant, anyway, crossing a muddy road. Here he is, here he was more than 100 years ago. He doesn't look like an artist, but he was. And uh, we'll, we'll look at some of his graphic works. And I think some of them are quite, uh, uh, quite good and impressive. And, and he was an excellent uh, illustrator of architectural scenes. Like this was, uh, you know, for, uh, from a construction site in Manhattan. Uh, here is a closer look at the artist during the First World War. He was an officer then. Anyway, while we are concerned with his uh, artworks, figurative, of course, but uh, I think good. He was not an architect, but I think he loved architecture. Well, he also created this series of artworks depicting the, the deadly wars. I don't know if this is from the, well, maybe the Second World War, whatever. We can see such scenes, unfortunately, unfortunately in Ukraine these days. Uh, I wonder if Mr. Putin uh, has time to contemplate such, such deadly, ominous uh, images. This looks almost like a photograph. Um, I don't know, maybe it is an artwork, but if it is, it is excellent, but it does look like a photograph. Anyway, this one again, he, you know, the devastation of war. We see, you know, graves, we see dead trees, we see a dead building, several dead buildings. This is what wars bring to us. And we, are uh, the creators of these wars. Not all of us, but some of us. Uh, and uh, I, I wonder why, why the madness? Uh, again, you know, a, a bombed landscape. Look at the sadness of the trees, you know, dead trees. Now, what is this, uh, you know, hole in the ground is probably was caused by a bomb. This is what human beings do to the, to the earth. They are supposed to be the shepherds of life. And instead we became murderers of life. War, war machines, the trees, soldiers, Soldiers who die for nothing, just because a madman orders them to kill and be killed. Some soldiers worried inside a tent. 
I always saw this one in Manhattan. This one I find is one of my, the best works that I have seen by him. Uh, it's the demolition of a cathedral, or it was probably, uh, you know, uh, affected by war and then it was decided to be demolished. But it's a very impressive etching and a very impressive uh, you know, architectural scene. And still a very impressive building, I would say, even in this state. And this is the artist. Uh, you see his name there, Sir Mirhad uh, Bone. 1876-1953. Uh, well, someone, someone else depicted it him, I guess, Francis uh, Dodd. Uh, 